You miss me, right? Hello everyone, and welcome back to another DWS video. I want to wish you all a very warm welcome back to the channel. I kind of uploaded again for the first time in month of the day, but I say this is this is my proper comeback video that you're currently watching. Yep. I'm indeed back to bring you some more fresh and right Doc 2 content again. It has been a long time since I last uploaded. I do apologise, I kind of just ran out of ideas for videos and sixth form kind of happened and took away all my spare time for video making, but I'm back with another banger for you to watch. So if you have lived on the British Isles between the years of 37 BC and 2021, you may have heard of this little indie show called Doctor Who. And it was so popular back in the day that you could see it everywhere. Toy shops, food, stamps, and even your nan's lasagna. Now I'm only joking about that last one, but that was a genuine thing that I found whilst researching this video. But back in its heyday, Doctor Who was everywhere. And it's a shame really because you don't really see it anymore. And pretty much the only thing you see are, like surrounding the show are just fake rumours from the mirror saying that like, Jodie Whittaker's leaving. So, in today's video, I'll be going over some of the promotional food that the BBC brought out to promote Doctor Who to the general public. Even the weird ones. So, to start off, we had this lovely tin of Doctor Who pasta that was brought out in 2009 to coincide at the same time that Planet of the Dead aired. And it was produced by Cross and Blackwell, and it included pasta shapes that resembled the TARDIS, Cybermen, K9, the Daleks, Slitheen, and weirdly enough, the Empty Child. I don't have any close-up pics of what they look like. I do apologise, as as this is a 12-year-old product, it's probably quite rare to find in Tesco nowadays. But I can actually remember having this one friend back in primary school. I never went around his house uh, for tea after school. Um, he, he always used to uh, buy me this Doctor Who pasta to have for tea because he knew how much of a Doctor Who fan I was. And I remember it tasted like absolute crap. Wrapping up on that last one, we move on swiftly to the next product, which is Doctor Who fruit flavoured shaped jellies. Now you can offer someone a jelly baby, well, a jelly Dalek, Doctor Who style. I can't really remember this one that well, and after researching it, it appears it's been deleted off the earth because this is the only image that I can find of it. So reading between the lines, you can kind of tell that it's like gummy Daleks in what looks like like a box and it came out around the time like series 3 was released uh, it says it contained 30 mini 40 gram bags of sweets with gummy red Daleks but there's nothing about there being a price or anything or where you can buy it from which is a bit strange the next product is a tin with a picture of a Dalek on it and in case you forgot what it's called it says the word Dalek on it Thanks a lot BBC, you've been struggling a bit with that one. And it contained jellies, marshmallows and alphabet stickers. I don't know why you'd want that, I, I guess to put your name on it or something. Again, I can't really remember this one that well, but it seems like an alright thing to get like in your stocking at Christmas or as a little treat after your swimming lesson. Now this next one, I can remember like it was yesterday. This brings back so many memories. It was the Doctor Who Dalek Shortbread Cookie Kit. Just looking at the box, I can remember the taste of them right on my tongue. Like, these were the best biscuits that you could buy to make at home. They were so good. So for those of you who haven't seen them before, they were like cookies in the shape of a Dalek. And it was decorated with like this sort of butterscotch sauce and had these like rice puff things for those ball things on the Dalek. I also remember it always come with a free gift for some reason. And it was mostly always those collectible like Merlin sticker things, but I could probably do a whole video on that, so I'll save that for another time. They seriously need to bring these back because, as I said, they were the best biscuits that money could buy. The next one isn't really a singular product, but a, like a range, and they were the Doctor Who Easter eggs, and they always came with like a mug or a gift with it. So this is an Easter egg that Mark Suspenters bought out in 2007. And the packaging was in the shape of a TARDIS, and it came with six caramel disc things. But I guess I like those caramel nibbles that Cadbury do. Here are some more Easter eggs that I've been bought out over the years. I remember having this one with the Cyberman on it, and I still have the mug to this day. As well as this one from when Series 5 came out with the Dalek mug. I also remember having this Stavros Easter basket one here, with loads of little marshmallows and Easter eggs inside, and I'd probably still have a tin for it somewhere. Moving on, this one isn't really necessarily a food, but it's a Dalek egg cup for Marks and Spencers, which, to be honest, I wouldn't mind getting my hands on now. 
There's not really much to say about this one, but it looks really cool and was released simultaneously with the launch of Series 3 back in 2007. Now these next ones are a throwback. They are Doctor Who birthday cakes, which I admit I had multiple of through the years. I definitely remember this one with David Tennant's Doctor on it, but also when researching for this I found this really cool Dalek chocolate cake with chocolate buttons as the icing on the cake. See what you did there? As well as those, there is this one with Matt Smith on, which I also remember having for multiple birthdays between the years of around 2010 to 2012. Now the next product is another mega throwback and they were everywhere during David Tennant's reign as the Doctor, aka the glory days of Doctor Who, and they were Doctor Who Froobs. Now there were two different types released, the first came out around the time Series 3 was released and they were the Cyber Strawberry flavour. You got eight in a box and on each fruit it had a different character on them as well as on the back of the packaging there were puzzles and things you could cut out like bookmarks. Then shortly after these were released a new set came out with red packaging just before series 4 first aired and was Sonic Strawberry flavour. It was pretty much the same as the first batch but had updated characters on them to time with the new series such as Donna Noble and the hosts from Voyage of the Damned and again the back had many puzzles like word searches and door hangers for you to cut out. I've seen a YouTube video recently where someone bought a box of these that have been left in the cupboard for over 12 years and they opened them for the first time ever to see what's inside. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now this final one, I only just found that existed and I genuinely thought it was fake until I saw it. So to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the show, Bird's Eye changed the mascot on their packaging of their fish fingers from Captain Bird's Eye to Matt Smith's Doctor as he ate fish fingers and custard in the 11th hour. It's really a shame that Doctor Who wasn't really seen on food and in shops anymore, as during the show's best years, which were, in my opinion, between 2007 and 2009, Doctor Who was everywhere and everyone was watching it back then compared to now where there's hardly any merchandise, apart from a few B&M figures and Chris Chibnall's in charge of the show. We could potentially be seeing the start of the decline of Doctor Who as viewing figures are dropping and the amount of episodes for the next series has been reduced to 8. I really hope that Doctor Who products can be seen on the shelves again like they used to and the general public don't just sweep its existence under the rug. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I might potentially make a part 2 to this so if you would like to see that then please leave a comment. I also have a few more video ideas uh, that I might plan to do in the future so hopefully I won't leave again for a really long time and I'll be back soon with some more videos. So as always, I've been DWWiz. I'll see you all soon.